Well, I'd like you to be seated now. Don't break this atmosphere. Don't for one second let the anointing go. Stay with us. <laughs> Well, I've, I've got my keyboard man tonight, Brother Chuck over there, and I thank God for him. I told him what key I was going to preach in tonight. How many of you love the Word of God? How many of you love the Bible? How many of you have noticed that I preached from the Bible? Well, you get ready because we're going to get a word. My hometown of San Francisco is a mess. Back in the 1900s, I love saying that by the way. Back in the 1900s, God spoke to me one day to invade San Francisco. And he told me to rent a 16,000 seat arena the Cow Palace Arena, which was the first venue that the Beatles used when they came to America in the 60s. My son, Michael, who's on the front row, remembers when we were at the Cow Palace. And I needed money because God said, I want you to go to the Cow Palace. I went and had a pastor's meeting in San Francisco, it was the deadest meeting I've ever had. I could fe feel frostbite. And when I told them what I wanted to do, I had to get out before their unbelief got on me. I prayed, and for the next six months, I ran out of money every two weeks. I had a Greek accountant, name was Gus, and Gus would call me on the phone and say, hi Mario, it's Gus, you don't have any money. How many of you know that's an evil report? But I knew how to pray. How many of you believe in prayer? So every single time God came through in a supernatural way but the test became severe we are one week away from the crusade I'm dying inside and I'm at a cafe that was a you know in California they have highfalutin cafes with outdoor seating and people in their tennis whites and uh, they'll park their horse and they'll have a cappuccino, a half-calf, macchiata, whatever. And I'm sitting out in the patio of this courtyard cafe. I get a call from Gus. He said, you are out of money. And you need $100,000 within the next 72 hours or the unions are going to shut down your event. We had workers on the streets. We'd been working six months and it was all over. He said, you don't have any money. How many of you have ever just gone over the edge? Spiritually, I went over the edge. All the people around me are very wealthy and, uh, as I said, highfalutin, a word I, I learned when I moved to Tennessee. Uh, that one and cahoots, which is my favorite. So, they're there with all their money and sophistication, every one of them college graduates. And there are two places in this restaurant. One is on the inside, one's on the outside. The inside part is separated by a brick wall. And I had it. I was so devastated. 
that I closed my eyes and I began to cry out loud, loud, out loud, in tongues and in English, little in Spanish. <laughs> and I, I just cried out to God out of total exhaustion. I can't do this. You have got to do something. How many have ever been there? Well, you've said to God, you have got to do something now. I need $100,000. Now. In the inside of the restaurant is a man who's a venture capitalist who met me and he was in there eating with his family. And he's eating and he puts down his fork and he said, I've just had the strangest thing happen to me. <laughs> he looks at his wife and he says, I'm supposed to call Mario Murillo on the phone right now. That's how intense I prayed. So he gets up because it's a noisy restaurant. He can't hear me out there yelling. He walks across the restaurant, goes out to his car, and when he goes out in the parking lot, it faced the courtyard, and he saw me. I've got my eyes closed. I'm going crazy in prayer. And Joe Little sits opposite the table. He just sits there and starts weeping. And when I opened my eyes, I saw it startled me, you know, because here I am, and anyone watching would really be befuddled. Here's a man yelling and another man crying. <laughs> and so I opened my eyes and I see Joe and he looks at me. He said, Mario Murillo, he said, you scare me to death. He said, I was in here eating with my wife, and God told me to call you. He said, the Lord told me that you need money. I said, the Lord is right. <laughs> How many of you believe the Lord is right? Say amen if you believe the Lord is right. Yeah. But I bit my tongue because I didn't want to say anything. I said, uh, Lord is right. He said, Mar, I gotta ask you a question. I said, what? He said, would $100,000 help you right now? Somebody help me right now. We own property on El Pintado Avenue in Danville, California. You can't even buy it now. And so I'm at home. I live about four miles away. And I get a call from my secretary. He said, a man in Bermuda shorts with the ugliest white legs I've ever seen in my life just dropped off a cashier's check for $100,000.